like a postcard, if that postcard was slowly warping to the left. Day 72, it's the 28th of August. Today should be my last day in the Lake District. I like being down in this valley, it's quite cool. I'm surrounded on all sides by mountains, mountains everywhere. Look at them. What is going on with the ground here? What is that? What? Why did it do that? There's nothing in the way at all. We've got Threlkeld off on the left here. Ah, oh, looks like we're going through Threlkeld. Oh, I'm stuck behind a big fat bus. Get out of the way. Every second vehicle I've passed has been another bus. It's nothing but buses around here. I seem to have reached the top of the world, and it's all downhill from here. So I can just take my feet off the pedals now and just coast all the way to John O'Groats. It's a nice little house, all by itself. Green fields everywhere. By the way, I forgot to mention I'm now in Cumberland, where all the sausages come from. Huh. Someone lost their bike. I think you'd have to really like living in isolation out here. There's just nothing around for miles and miles. I think too I've been so overloaded with so many villages for so long down in England. As I get further north, things are starting to thin out a bit, so I'm not getting as much uh, stimulus. Day 74, it's the 31st of August. <laughs> I've been picking up interest in Japan just now. A couple of websites contacted me for interviews and such like. It's funny the sort of bubbles of um, discussion that goes on around the world. Two weeks ago it was Russia, last week it was Italy, and this week it seems to be Japan. It seems to take time for these things to get through. A little rabbit hutch. Things always feel so much fresher when you've got nice strong shadows coming through. Doesn't feel all murky. What do we have here? Rotten Head. Rotten Head, maybe? Dalston. We are in Dalston. Hmm, maybe Dalston's not as small as I thought. It has a car dealership. Just doing some quick calculations in my head there, and I think I'm probably going to see in the region of about 160,000 panoramas in my whole journey, which is probably a pretty good percentage of the country's total panorama is available. So, that's an achievement. We've got Carlisle this way. Must be bin day. Or oh, skip day. Everyone put your skip out. Well, oh there we are, Carlisle. Population, 75,000. Seems very quiet, I wonder if it's a Sunday. There's an interesting brick pattern. Whoa. Wouldn't want to come home to that with a hangover. Music box and games. I like games. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Castles galore. That's impressive. Right there. Day 76 is the 3rd of September. This is my last day in England. I'm going to miss England. I might come back here one day. I've been getting loads of uh, interest from people all around the world about this project that I've been doing. And many people saying, where can I get a version of your cycling thing? Because I want to do it too. Or well, you're in luck, because I'm shortly, hopefully, going to be starting a Kickstarter in which I'm going to make a better version of this for everybody. So I've not got everything sorted yet, it's going to take some time, there's a lot of questions to be answered. Um, but along the way, you can uh, follow my progress on my road to Kickstarter. Um, if you go to the blog, you can find a subscribe button, and that will add you to the mailing list. And I'll let you know when something exciting happens. <laughs> I feel like I'm in that bit in Mad Max 2 where I'm cleaning under the front of the truck. Well, I must be heading to Scotland because the clouds are going grey. What have we got here? Woodcliff, maybe? Bodcliff, something like that. Couldn't really read it. Balloons! 
It's a party house. Uh, I've got an eyelash in my eye. Gretna, off to the left. Old blacksmith's shop. That's where you go to get married when you're 12. Apparently they do something like 5,000 weddings a year here. One in every six Scottish weddings happen in Gretna. Also, the law used to be that anybody could marry anyone as long as you were there to witness it. Now you have to go to Las Vegas for that kind of action. I think... No, not yet. I'm not sure. Uh, that, is that the river I passed over and I'm now in Scotland? I have to pass over a river and I'm in officially in Scotland. I think it might be in Scotland. Huzzah! I'm not in England anymore. Yeah, so we are, Scotland. Hooray! I'm home. Is the Gretna Inn? You'd be surprised to learn I've never been to Gretna either. I should probably come this way when I go to Carlisle. Day 78, it's the 6th of September. Haven't cycled for a couple of days because I've been super busy. Gretna one stop weddings. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's been clamped. <laughs> Ah, just decided to update the Wikipedia entry. Gretna Green, village famous for runaway weddings. I've been very spoiled going through England when there's been so many villages. I can't imagine what it would be like cycling across Australia. It's only got two villages, one on the left and one on the right. Holly. We've arrived in a place called Holly. There's a little well in that garden for very small people. Oh, the sheep are facing away from me. Why don't you look at me? Turn around. Maybe they like to face west. I thought that was cows that did that. Eagles Field and Broro are this way. Look at those clouds. So very Scottish. This whole area is a part of Scotland I've never ventured into really. The whole uh, southwest corner. <laughs> it's been day and they've all fallen over in the wind. Day 79, it's the 7th of September. Well, the sun's come out, it's all bright and cheery. It's a lovely scene. Don't forget to go to my site, my blog, cyclebr.com. Hit the subscribe button if you want to keep informed about my impending Kickstarter. What have we got here? Echo Fecken. <laughs> the wonderfully named Echo Fecken. Or as the locals call it, Fecken, apparently. Whoever came up with that name was a genius. So Echo Fecken, I think, is a population of about 700, something like that. Villages are very video gamey, aren't they? A little self-contained bubble of incestuousness. Ah, Lockerbie, three miles. And it's autumn. Well, I've reached Lockerbie, apparently. And it's been obliterated. <laughs> There's nothing left. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Now I'm in Lockerbie. Well, the building's made of red sandstone here, apparently. There's some quite nice houses here. Oh, they're nice trees. Ironmongery store. Didn't even know that was a word. And there we have it. 900 kilometers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.